What's up guys? It's back here and we are going back in some more Slay the Spire Downfall of Runa. So, in the downfall here, we did the champ last time and we're going to go with the automaton one away from going in with my favorites, the gremlin. We're going to continue with the random choice here and for the first time in a while we got Exorbium on the first. So that means we get we actually have some different options here. We don't have to go with the bucket for the first one. And we'll go with the rare card to, to start with and hmm. Three functions created. Clean code, pretty cool. I've never really used it. Infinite loop is really good if we have a small deck. And format is at least one energy no matter what. Plus one. You would always at least get one fragment here. And then you could immediately play it for five block. I don't think we're quite there. I think, honestly, I think I'm going to take clean code. There's a lot of early and really powerful cards that would facilitate that kind of like style of gameplay here. I think I will go for the bonfire first. And I think the dig is what we were looking for here. Tag bag. Pretty good to start off with. Okay. Get some stuff going on here. No reason to take any damage yet. Clean code is not going to be good until we find an effect that facilitates it. Um, we really want like a null, is it null pointer or null void? Um, ones like that that have drastic negatives, but also incredible effects here. Um, I think if we go push for damage here, we can just get the kill. We do. All right, first choice. Two Feral is not very good, but Tim Block is very good. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll go safeguard. Does not lean as offensively as I would like, but we need a reason to play our, play our clean code. And we're going to start with that. Replicate, safeguard, there we go. And there we go. A zero cost, four damage, Tim Block card. Right there, no exhaust, no nothing. And actually it costs one. But one in the grand scheme of things for that effect is not bad. Alright, and if we keep the deck pretty small, we can facilitate using that over and over again. Which is really what you want. I think I'll take one copy of fine tuning. It's situational, but also has some good applications. And we're going to take this right before going into the shopkeep here. That regret. Always in the opening hand. Ow. Alright, there's clean code. There's go to. Take five here. I actually probably should have gotten an attack and now that I think about it. Because safeguard is the only thing that will benefit from this. And at the same time, it's not going to end up mattering too much. Because, yeah, I'm not going to get through his block. You got go to here. Do that. And, yeah, we'll get two additional strikes in. But his block is a little too strong. But the real reason I was excited to go to the shop is this tag bag. A lot of good effects here. I don't think any of these are what we want to see. All right. All right. Ooh. Well, that's for curses. First, let's remove the regret. Pretty, pretty good one. Plus zero. Gain second. If you have no cards, if you do not choose a card, you might choose one later. That's a pretty good idea. I can find a high cost card and put Sneko on it. I think I will try it. All right, as a free action. And then two for one validates, but I don't really have a, an idea of what I'd use it for right now. I think I'll hold the last little bit of money I got. <laughs> I like the bottled chip in that. That's pretty cool. Um, clean code. Eh. Eh. 
Uh, go to here, I think, is the, is the right call here. Okay. We are about to get into a bunch of elites. Old Nail, while it's cool... I think I'll skip the first elite. I'm a little nervous that we're not strong enough to fight the Emerald Elite yet. And if we take a bunch of damage here, we're not going to get through um, to do the other two. Go two here. Okay. Fine tuning is not what I wanted to see. And we'll defend a little bit. Okay, here we go. Link code, safeguard, replicate. And then play it again, draw two more cards. Okay, here's that fine tuning. I guess that's the only thing we didn't get off before we created the code there. That's exhaust, which is sad. One good hand. Oh, there's running guard. That's what we want. No replicate. That would have sealed the deal. Ooh, he had some block. Okay. Nope, not really what we want yet. One copy of Deprecate is fine. Would be really good against certain elites, so. Not sad about it. Encode and Deprecate here. Yeah, it's just draw two and apply two weeks to all enemies. Pretty nice, or one week. Fine tuning here. I think I go for the Safeguard and then the Replicate. Powerful defensive draw card there. Which is what I like to see. Ah yes, everything's obscured, but I think I got a good idea of what we're doing here. Like that. Copy of running. And then these are all attacks. Doing 13. I don't want to take that, so we will block a little bit here. Okay. Um he's still no, he does not have a shield anymore. So we really just want to lay in as much damage as possible. We're going to take six more. I think we should be good now. Copy and copy. And down. Molten Egg is pretty good. Blade Slice. Overheat. I like that as a big high damage card. It also stacks with our clean code. In a very good way. Go to. There we go. Replicate, fine tuning, and go with that overheat here. All right, let's not fall into the trap this time and do that. All right, another weakness here. Still doing 10. Um, I will double strike, I mean double defend here. Okay. There's another running, is only seven though. But it gets me back into Replicate. Plus the Overheat. Pretty good damage. Alright, and then, yep. One. Two. Uh, not terrible. And the fact that the Overheat came pre-upgraded was very nice. Ooh, Hard Code is... It's, it's an idea, but I don't think we're quite... Quite to that level yet. Ooh. Sling would have been really good, but not today. There's some stuff. Delayed Slice 2 for 1 is really nice, but also removing a card would be really good. I think. And this one's on sale. I think I just go for the two Delayed Slices. Uh, boss game one strength whenever you die heal 20 instead. Now, I would have probably took the evil within, but I don't think the other ones are what I want. Overheat, replicate, delayed slice, and strike. Down almost halfway on the first turn. Pretty nice. Um. Okay. We do that. We safeguard here. Get this attack card here. That's pretty powerful. Another delayed slice. We're going to go two and get some more attacks. And we should kill him next turn. 
Or not. Okay. Deprecate. Okay, we did kill him. I was like, well, I've messed up. Uh, old coin. I'm pretty happy to have that. Um, I don't think I want any of these. I think we're good there. Ooh. And nothing. Um, clean code. Safeguard. Get to replicate out here. Yeah, taking a little bit of damage. All the lousing attacking on the first turn is pretty rough. And this is what I wanted. Um, delayed slice. Delayed slice. They are all dead. Zaz potion is not what we want to see. I will take one more overheat. That'd be the last one I take, though. Oh. Can't go any farther. Down to six. I went hard and lost. Overheat is not enough. And they're doing 16. Gross. Okay. This would bring them down to 39. That is not the halfway point. Play this. I'm exactly dead. And I don't think there's anything I can do to stop it. Oh, that gives me 10, so that's 34. So that's under half, okay. Do this all, all, all bets in just to make sure I take no damage. Two 12s here. Blade slice, they both take 10 and then another 10. Close the potion's pretty good. Don't really want another deprecate, I don't think. I think I'll take an upgraded cut through. All right, this is gonna be a hard one. Nine coming in to start. Clean code. Deprecate. Go to. Why did that not? I applied weakness and they're still hitting me for six. Somehow I messed that up. Well, <laughs> we'll go one more, one more go through. I thought I had counted that out correctly, but apparently not. Must have said nine and they weakened down to six. It's okay, it's okay, it happens. Go somewhere randomly. Exordium again. Dozu. Starting off with extra energy. And I'm liking this fully, almost full left path. Has a lot going on. And of course, an early bonfire. No brewing here. We'll go with the, the smith on the go to. Usually seems like a pretty good pull. Rather have the dig or the toke, but can't always get what you want. All right, so extra energy in the start. I don't want to forget that. I am bad to do so. The only downside, so the downside being our starting core, our bronze core is not here. So that means the first um, function we create will not be free. The high cost functions are less incentivized. And one strength. Ooh, I do like philosophize though. Gotta have that scaling. All right, philosophize. Let's go. Oh, gross. They're playing out our whole hand though. What one more damage wouldn't have done. All right, go two first. Yep, and then so this is now just one strength here. Five damage, throw some cards. Replicate, and then two strikes, yeah. Make sure I didn't need to defend there. Another strength. I didn't realize that was just linear strength scaling. Uh, iterate will be very good then. Early shop, not my friend. Classifies. Ooh. I do not want to go two here. Uh, for the fact that it'll give him two strength. Which will be very bad. Oh, clicked off a little bit there. Okay, there's replicate. Now we get the strength gain on our end. With the iterate too, which is insane. 
Getting go to here would be very good, and then drawing back into the function. We did not. Not the worst, though. Okay, good cards. Max output could be very good. Um, okay, gain 12. I think I'd rather have the AoE. Usually comes up more often. Or he would have been really nice. Same with Hyper Beam. Hmm. I think I'll go with the card removal. Keep the deck a little bit smaller here. I mean, I gotta go with both. We got Age Challenge, right click. Get Souls. By three week, all fighters gain one buffer. All fighters. Do we both gain a buffer or do... I know we both start with the weakness. They do not get a buffer, okay. And age adds a void, which is fine. Philosophize here is good. Uh, I could double defend and keep my buffer. Probably should. Overall, I'll probably end up taking more damage next turn. Oh, Piercing shot. Pretty good here. Piercing shot again. Iterate to punch one of you down. Replicate up here. Okay. Yep. Taking 11 here. That's not the end of the world. This is almost the end of the world. So 9 plus 4 plus 4. 17. I can kill this one. Which does seem like to be the better option when I can defend here. Oh, I should have right clicked for challenging. I gotta do that at the beginning. One of those ones I probably won't remember very well. Um, nine. Yeah, you're dead in the back. Strength gain is just really good. Even though you're giving the enemy two. Overall, in a small deck, it, it uh, outclasses very quickly. I'm mutant code. Encode a copy of it. Arch Conflict's pretty cool. Make it not exhaust. Two for ten. We'll take a copy. Oh, I know. Elizabethan call. Upon pickup, your curses become injuries. All curses you obtain become injuries. Interesting. So now, yeah. That's kind of cool. Because injuries aren't that bad. Especially if we have a good a, a amount of, um... What's the word? A good amount of cycling. And definitely iterate, I think, is the call here since we have strength gain. More hits means more damage. Okay. Bothfies. Go to. Oh, uh, no. I want to play this and start gaining strength. No, I want to wait till next turn. I need something that does lower damage. Now this is three. This is three and draw two. Ooh. Merge conflict iterate is pretty good actually. Go ahead and do that. That place two copies of it. I, I really wanted to try to get through to where we didn't have the weakness was the main one I was trying to get rid of, but that's pretty good. I should have gained more strength before I did that, though. Ah, oh, and I had the buffer. Making misplays. Alright, back up to 20 here. Frank, and yeah, this is a lot of damage. Hurrying teleporter, not terrible. The two copies of strike. Multiple attacks, more incur uh, um more encoding. So really, like, Merge Conflict with a lot of things is really good. Merge Conflict, Philosophize. Put two of those in there. And Defend. Taking four here. Oh, taking none because of the buffer. Piercing Shot. They gain four strength, but I also gain a bunch of strength. Eh, that wasn't that good. 
because they gain it a little bit faster than me. Mm, nope. Heal 25. Uh, regrets turn to injuries. Where you block damage exactly. That's not that good. Unfortunate. Not as good. Merge conflict. Go to. Put two of those up there. Not bad. Um, piercing shot here is great. Then we'll philosophize. And then. I guess it's. Defend, defend. Running sprint would have been okay, but. I don't think I need that many cards in my hand. I know what I want. I want Merge Conflict, but I think I've already, yeah, I've already exhausted it. So it's... Recursive Strike here. Iterate. Okay. Replicate. One Strength and a ton of damage. I don't know if that was quite correct for damage counting specifically, and this is just a bad hand. Two injuries, we need a way to profit off of them. We don't have yet. Another iterate. Very much good. Every status. Fine tuning. Fine tuning is pretty good. And then we'll remove one of these injuries. I have no payoff for them yet, but if we do, I would consider it. Not very good. I wonder if there's was a chance, because I thought we would get a an actual card. Okay. I thought those strikes. I should have upped first. Technically. Replicate. Bunch of damage. Piercing, we got the buffer, so let's lay into the damage here. Okay. Philosophize, iterate. I'm gonna get some more strength, but while we're all very weak, best time to do it. Alright. Merge conflict, but I don't know what this will end up being on. But I should do it, and then do this. Okay. A little bit of strength loss. Well, we broke even on strength. Alright, replicate. 14, 18. Yep, we got it. New friend. Strikes and defense exhaust 50% of the time. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't think I have a problem with it, though. Okay. Oh. Where's my AoE when I need it? Okay. Three damage. Hit you. Hit you. One's down. Empty fully blocked. Where's my piercing shot? Didn't get it. So we'll strike. We will merge conflict. Get another one down. And defend here. We still take two. Not too bad. There's piercing shot. And then yeah. And poke. Technically if I had fine tuned in the right way, we could have got it off better. Four five is good. Dex and strength gain. Ooh. Philosophize, iterate, iterate. Early turn strength gainer. Buffer will block us for the first one, and we come in with a lot more HP here. Merge Conflict, Replicate, that go in. We will defend on this one, even though we're still going to take a pretty good amount of damage. But that means seven. Fine tuning, let's go ahead and fortify here. There's that two decks. Not bad. And since the new friend is exhausting everything, our deck will end up being down mostly to codes, which is nice. Ooh, 25 here is not very nice. Let's go two first. Hit. I want recursive. 
strike in here or do I? I think I'm going to go very hard on the defensive here. Try to take just a little bit less damage. Yeah, and then we can come in with the strength gain on all the iterates. The copy and copy, replicate, and still get a defend off. They're starting to look pretty rough. They did just hit Rage State, so that's not as good for us. Oh, 31. That will kill us if we can't kill them. Luckily, we can. <laughs> Sometimes it does come down to that. The start of your turn, add a random card with encode your hand. It costs zero. Well, let me remember, because this one's pretty good. Okay, I function immediately out the cards in the sequence. I think dev tools ends up being better than library. I think that's what I'm going to go with. Library, I think, is a little too slow. So will the unique curse? All curses come injuries. Does that become so we got curse of the bell? Does that become an injury? No. Huh. Any immortal unblock damage dealt deal ten damage to enemy. Okay. I mean range jacks are pretty good. All function you compile gain retain. That's even better. Get that random choice. Do we get the snap? We did. So we are now on the um, Runa side. And I really want to take out the shopkeep, so I'm going to kind of venture down this middle path here. I'm going to pick up this elite. If we kill the shopkeep earlier, I'll go down this left side. If not, we'll take out this other one and go down this side. Either way, we'll get the same amount of elites. It'll just depend on if we get more um, question marks or not. Dev Tools is really good, so let's remove exhaust from that. It's a very flexible card. Let's just kind of decide what we need to do with our situation. These combat start with this card of the sequence. That's pretty good. And Max is being here before. Remove a card, gain a random card with a toad. Okay. Raph, gain the bottle. Start with philosophizing there, honestly. Oh, you only get one choice. Ah, uh, this is a mimic. Yeah, we want to get the idea upgraded. But that allows us to get the our strength earlier. So let's start building that. Okay. I do want to merge conflict here. We have the buffer, so we're gonna go in very heavy on damage. Ooh, 21 here is not that good for us. Um we will fortify to start off with. This is a seven here. This also gives us seven. So it's better to defend and then iterate. And then continue. 21 there. Pretty rough. Uh, let's tune. Iterate. Lots of nonsense here. 20 damage coming in. Not very fun, my man. Um. Hmm. I'm each card exhausts him. No. Do that first. Take 20 more. Okay. Replicate. Ah, uh, strike here. I could create a function out of this, but it's not going to do me much. Let's get, to get rid of the treasure and defend a couple times. 23 here, and this is a bad, bad hand. It's mostly just play treasure and break once. Oh, 23 more. What is this? This is nonsense. Uh, I mean, we're going to create a function, batch it. It's only five. That was kind of nonsense. Second floor, we were doing really well. This chess man is just nonsense, though. The mimics are too strong. And this isn't even like a hard chest, but I don't think I see any other ones. Might remove mimics if I can. Because I think they always like pull our HP pretty low. But this is going to be a shorty. 
because that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.